Hello and welcome everybody to another unboxing video of Roland's miniature reviews for Warhammer Stormbringer. I have not done an unboxing of my issues 15 to 18 because they just arrived yesterday and today arrived my issues 19 to 22. So let's have a look at episode 19 of Warhammer Stormbringer. As usual we have the magazine with some information about the Orc Magic, Sigma Storm and the Sons of Imad. We have obviously the miniature Gardas Steel Soul with his base, his war scroll, how to build and paint him, and some more playthroughs. So that is the first episode, and this is house number 20, which brings us the first part of Mush Crawler Slugoth. And our first article about the Fire Slayers. So we have how to build this part. And this time, oh, it's the full assembly and we will only get the second part in the next episode number 21 where I suspect we will have how to paint him and here we go we have the second part and the base of that mesh crawler we have another fold out for the Hedonites of Slanish and the Edoneth Deepkin. Put that here. And we have some more information about magic. And this is also where the fold out goes. We have more about building techniques, how to remove mold lines, how to glue stuff together, and then how to paint mush, marsh crawler slogoth. Okay, very nice. We finish up with some more playthroughs with our new miniature and that brings us to episode number 22 which has two paints contrast paint griff charger gray and base color Avalon sunset A really nice yellow Avalon Sunset and in the magazine this time we have some more about the Realm of Shadow, the Death in the Mortal Realms, the origins of the Stormcasts and cunning plans for the Cruel Boys. We hear some more about shade and shading. Hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. 
playthrough let's round this up and we are beginning to get a summary and yeah basically the stormbringer version of the age of sigma rules now the interesting part what is in issue 23 and 24 and if you have already checked out the Hushet homepage or Foxhammer, they have leaked quite a few things so over the next two episodes we get the Lord Aquilor and the Loon Boss. So why did I not receive my previous issues? Um, that is a very interesting question, um, which Hachette hasn't really answered, stating that, oh well, some parts of my address were in the second address line and that is not printed on every label. So my question then was, well, why have all the other issues reached me exactly one week after you dispatched them? This is not really an argument. To which Hachette responded, well, they are going to send my, my issues 15 to 18 out with the follow-up issues of 19 to 22. Now, I had to go through some palaver with them. And I said, well, if you're not sending that stuff out, although you have my money for a month, then I might as well just cancel it. And you can keep the premium subscription because this is not a premium service. So it ended up going via PayPal and Hachette offering me to send them out via next day delivery, which means they sent them out on Thursday last week and I received them yesterday. So a little bit disappointed with how Hachette handled this because at the end of the day, first of all, it's a premium subscription and mistakes do happen. That's fine. And as long as it's not a common issue that issues or uh, whole parcels get lost, then why can't you just send it out when it is overdue? So that is a bit of a thing that uh, disappointed me a bit and has me thinking, is it really worth keeping this subscription until issue 80 or whenever it, it may finish? Particularly considering that the Art Boys and the other Orkish Orcs, including the Warboss, are not coming until issue 60 something and upward. I might as well just buy them if I want them and forget about the subscription. So for now I just let it be and I hope you enjoy your Warhammer subscription without the delays and the missing issues that I experienced. This is Roland's miniature review and I will see you on the next video.